Okay, class. Now let me talk about the relationship between the algorithms and the RAM diagram. And the RAM diagram. Of course, when I'm talking about the RAM diagram, I'm talking about the MTL, which is memory transfer language invented by Professor Msele Bambu, the one who is teaching you this course. Now, <coughs> I want here to show you the way how the, the, the algorithms or the program affect the RAM of the computer. If you remember, we said last time that when you write a program, there is no way out you'll be running away from the RAM because everything you are doing in the computer is going to affect the RAM. And that, that is why Professor Msele tried to come with the visualization tools to visualize how the programs affect the RAM. And this is what we call the MTL, Memory Transfer Language. Now look, in the first algorithms, I was just adding two numbers, x plus y, to get what we call z. Now, the first process was, the first process was, for the, for the algorithm of adding two numbers, if you remember, the first process was to reserve the space for input, which, is, which are x and z. Now, before reserving the space, let us try to visualize the algorithms at the beginning before anything is happening in the computer. At the beginning, the RAM in the computer, as we said last time that the RAM is an M by N matrix. Now this is, let's take example of one by M matrix. This RAM, one by M matrix. At the beginning, this RAM must be free before anything is happening in the computer. When your computer is turned off and nothing is, is, nothing is executing, now we say that the RAM is free. The RAM will be looking like that one. It is completely free that no anything is in the memory cell. Now when you say you reserve, the first process here was to reserve the space for X. Means now, if you say, if you, say you are going to reserve the space for X, eh? If that RAM was having one, two, three, four, five room, one, two, three, four, five room, and every room here is completely free now, when you reserve the space for X, means you make this space, for instance, to be reserved. This space, the, rem the remaining space remain, f remain free. Now you can see, at the beginning the RAM was free, when you, f when you say that you reserve the space for input x, now this is what is happening in the computer. That the x space, the first space, or the first cell is reserved for x. Now when you reserve the space for another input y, now we expect now our RAM will look like this way. Whereby this space, the first space is already reserved is already reserved by for y. The second one was free. Now we reserve this one for for y. Now we reserve this one for y. And then the third space will remain free. The fifth, the fourth one will remain free, and the fifth one will remain free. So when for the second two for the first two process where you reserve the space for x and you reserve the space for y for x and the y. Now we expect that our RAM will look like this one. At the beginning, our RAM was completely free. When you reserve one space for x, that you reserve this space to be, to be taken for a number x. And when you reserve the space for y, it means you are reserving the space to be taken for number y. Now, the third process is, if you remember there, is to accept a, a value for x and the y. Means now you enter the value for x and the y. Remember, this one are free. No. The third one was to reserve a space for Z. Reserve a space for Z, the output. Now again, this one become reserved. This one continue to be reserved. While this one is also 
reserved, this continue to be free, and this continue to be free. So you see, after reserving the space for both input and output, now our RAM will look like this one. This is our RAM. This is our RAM, which is one by M matrix now. This is our RAM. This is our RAM. Our, our RAM will look like this one. Now, when you go to the third step, which is now setting the number for X and for Y, now we say that, okay, we want to take three, for instance, into a space X. This is X, which is reserved. This is Y, which is also reserved. This is Z, which is also reserved. This one is free, and this one is free. When you say accept a number for X, and imagine you say that X is equal to three, now mean that now the three value is going to be taken and stored in the space where it is reserved for X. Now the three will be here, while Y will continue to be reserved, and the Z will continue to be reserved. So up to this moment, we'll be having, the RAM, our RAM will look like this way, whereby we have one space which was reserved by X for X, and it has already been given a value now. The space which was reserved for Y is still having no value, it's still reserved, and the one which is reserved for Z is still reserved, and the rest of the space is remaining free. Now if you continue <coughs> for, the third, for the third step, whereby you need to give a space for y, and then, for instance, you say y is equal to 4 again, now you see the x continue to, to, to hold the 3, while y was reserved at the meaning, now it's going to take 4, means 4 is going to be stored in the space where it's reserved for y. Z will remain reserved here, z will remain reserved, while this space will remain free, and this space will remain free. So up to this particular moment now, when you say accept X and Y, you find that now, your RAM will look like that one, whereby a cell reserved for X will be having now holding a value, a cell reserved for Y will also hold, holding a value, but a cell reserved for Z is still reserved, while the two space is remaining free. Now, if you continue, <coughs> I think I may, I may, Okay, let me write it here, because I, I may later on explain all of them. Now this is X, which has three. This is Y, which has four. This is Z, which is reserved. This continue to be free, and this continue to be free. Now, this is our RAM, this one. Now, when you say that X, Z is equal to X plus Y, what exactly you do is, means you are taking everything which is in a space X. What is in a space, a space X now is Z, is two, is three. Now means this three will be brought here. Now you plus what is in a space Y. What is in a space Y now is four. The four will be brought here. Now the summation here will be seven. That four plus three, or three plus four is equal to seven then the 7 is going to be stored in Z now. I mean, this one is going to be stored here now. Now you find that the 7 will be stored here now. At this particular moment now, you find that our RAM has five spaces, while three of them is already holding the value, and the two of them is free. Now the first step was to display Z, the summation. Now you are going to display what is in space Z, and this, what is in space Z will be, when you say display Z, display Z, what will be displayed here means what is in Z, which is 7. So we expect that if this is our computer screen, we expect to get 7 here as an output. So that is the relation between the RAM and the, the, and, the, and the algorithm. So you see, if you have an algorithm, you can follow it or you can convert it into the RAM diagrams, which is memory transfer language. And later on, we will see the way how we convert this memory transfer language into now a real code now, into now a real program. So you see, at the beginning, <coughs> at the beginning, the RAM was completely free. Now, after RAM being free, 
we start reserving the value for x, whereby now you find that one space was reserved for x and the remaining of the space remain free. When you continue reserving for y, now two spaces were just reserved, while the remaining three was free. Now you reserve the space for z, which was an output now. Now you find that three step is also reserved, while the remaining two remain free. Now you start initializing, you start accepting the value, entering the data now. You take 3, you put it into x by saying x is equal to 3 now. Means now 3 is going to be stored in space x. Now you find that the space x is now holding a value, while y and z is still reserved, and the rest of the space is free. Now when you say y is equal to 4, means you are taking, the f you are taking value 4, you are going to store it in the space which is reserved for y. And this is the space reserved for y now. You find that this space now will be holding for the value 4. Now two spaces here will be holding the value while z, which is one space, is still reserved and the rest of the space is still free. Now when you say <coughs> z is equal to x plus 3, means you take what is in x, which is 3 now, you add with what is in y, which is 4, then the resultant, which is 7, is going to be stored in z. Now you find again now z is also now holding the value. So now our RAM has five spaces while three of them are holding the value and the two of them are still free. Now when you say display z to the screen now, means you are taking what is in z in, and the display to the screen. Now what is in z here is seven. So you find that this program now will be adding two number x and y and getting the, the summation. So that is the first one. Let me take the second example and try to convert it again like the way we, we do the, the, this one now. Now take the <coughs> problem of, let, take the, 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 the algorithms of finding the area of the, the rectangle. I said that at the beginning, the RAM will always be free. At the beginning, the RAM will be free. This is free, free, free. I take this to be an assumption of the RAM diagram. Now, the first step was reserve a space for length and the width of the triangle. Now, I will reserve the space for, for L. Now, I take this one. Now, I reserve it. I reserve it for L. Which means that the rest four step, four space, continue to be free. The second step is reserve a space for W, which is the width now. Now you see, <coughs> my RAM now will look like this way, whereby this L continue to be reserved. W here now are going to be reserved here, the, the width, while this will continue to be free. And this one will continue to be free. Now the third step was reserve the space for the area where I'm going to store the area of the rectangle. Now this, this space will continue to be reserved for, for L. This one will continue to be reserved for, for W. Now this space which was free will be reserved for A now. Will be reserved for A while the rest of the two will remain free. So this is the way how my RAM will look like here after reserving the space. Now from that point, I'm going to accept the data. I'm just going to accept the data for, for, for the length and the width. So if I accept the data for the length, imagine I put four as I make the four to be the length. Now the four will be, will be stored here, why W will continue to be reserved, why W will continue to be reserved, A will continue to be reserved at this moment, will continue to be reserved, why this one will be free, and this one will be free. Now, if I take a space for W, now I want to enter the width, now mind you, this is the length is already holding the space, holding the value for, W also here will, when I say W is equal to 6 for recency, now 6 will be held here. Now area will continue to be reserved 
why this two space will, will be free. Now when I say, <coughs> now at this, at this moment, you may see, at this moment, you may see that the RAM has five steps, five spaces. Two of them are holding now value. One is still reserved. One is reserved for a number, while two are still free. Now, when I say area is equal to A, when I say area is equal to L times W, what I mean here is take whatever is in L, which is now 4, you, you times with whatever is in W, which is now 6, means 4 times 6, 4 times 6. The resultant here is going to be 24. Now, this 24 is going to be stored. This is, this is L, which is 4. This is W, which is 6. Now, this 24 is going to be stored in Z, which is already reserved here. Now, we expect here to be 24. So, after manipulating that area is equal to length times W, I find that the RAM will look like this one, whereby we'll be having three spaces, which now all hold the value why two of them continue to be free. Now, when you say display Z, when you say display A, not Z, means you, if this is a screen, you'll be taking whatever it is in Z and you, you bring it to the screen here, it'll be 24. So if this is a program now, it will give you that 4 times 6 is equal to 24, which means that if you have a rectangle with the length 4 and the width 6, now the area is going to be 24. So this is the relationship between the RAM and the, and, the, and the algorithm. So you may convert your algorithms into a RAM diagram. Later on, I will show you the way how you convert the RAM diagram now into now the real code. Thank you.